Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watchers are the stars. As always, you don't see me, but you hear my voice. It's Alexander speaking, your host. A very warm welcome. And in this video, we are going to present you the new Breguet Type 20 chronograph, originating from a military order in the 1950s. And it's a very, very interesting watch. And I hope you have lots of fun discovering it in this video. And please don't forget, we do also have a Instagram channel. So in case you have not yet subscribed to our Instagram channel, do so. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. From the early 1950s onwards, Breguet supplied growing numbers of watchmaking instruments for aircraft instrument panels. And of course, once you do this, the military, of course, has an eye on you and probably thinks about ordering wristwatches. And this is exactly what happened. A clearly defined military specifications led to the design of these watches. This is not a coincidence. It's not Breguet having copied anything today. The look of these watches go back even earlier. A design that was born in the 1930s and 40s with clear specifications how such a watch had to look like. And Breguet was chosen in the 1950s to deliver 1,100 Type 20s for military use. Why did the military choose Breguet? It was not the only company that would offer these watches, but they were better. They were performing better. They were more precise. They were more resisting to shocks. If you look closely, there are two Type 20, one written with Arabic numerals, and there is a Type 20 written in Latin numerals. The Type 20 with Arabic numerals was always the watch for the Armée de l'Air. It was a watch as it is today, as you see it today, as they presented it, with a running second and a 30-minute counter positioned at three o'clock. This was a watch with a diameter of 38.3 millimeters and powered by the legendary Valjou 222 movement, a two and a half hertz chronograph movement that was the best you could get at the time being. And the watch, as you see it here on the screen, absolutely fulfilled what the military wanted. Perfect readability, resist all the shocks and all the things that could happen to a pilot whilst he was on duty. The second variation was the Type XX or 20, and this was more the civilian version of that chronograph. And as you already easily see, it had an additional counter. It had a 12 hour counter position at six o'clock. Also, the watch distinguishes itself to the military version with a different basal. The different basal was also, let's say, adopted basal for a civilian version, offering more indications, had the scale from 0 to 12, and you could use the scale also probably to display a second zone time if you wished. The movement was still the same. It is the legendary Valjou 225, just in another execution, but it was the same type of movement used by Breguet. And this more civilian version was then becoming very, very quickly, very popular. Also, among other forces, the gendarmerie ordered the French gendarmerie, the police squads ordered them, etc., etc., private aircraft associations ordered the watch. It was a very popular pilot's watch in the 1950s. Diameter of this watch, the same 38.3 millimeters and a flyback, flyback function was mandatory. We will show that in the video where you can reset without pushing the start-stop push piece first. You just push on the reset push piece at four o'clock and the chronograph would start from zero again and you could use it without any delay. If you think now that these chronographs were only on wrists of pilots or military personnel, no, no, absolutely not. This chronograph got very popular due to, of course, its quality. And you have to clearly say, Breguet always manufactured superb watches. This is also the reason why the actual watches might be a little bit more expensive than comparable watches. But if you go into details, and this is now what you are going to see, we will show you how this watch differentiates itself 
two other watches that look similar, that were exactly the same design or had exactly the same design because they were also manufactured upon requests of the military. And there were about five brands to manufacture such watches at the time being. And Breuer was chosen and not the others. They were also selling some, but not probably in these quantities. So it is quality the quality as it is today, Breguet is superb, is haute horlogerie, the very best you can imagine in watchmaking. Well, Breguet just launched two Type 20 chronographs. Let us start with the military version. You clearly see if you look back on the historic pieces that this watch is almost identical. Okay, there was no date and I know lots of discussions already. Is it necessary to have a date on such a watch or not? So let me, before I start the presentation, already tell you that this is only the beginning. Breuge just launched a new collection of chronographs and this is only the beginning. So the first lot of watches that are going to come to the market to feature a date function at 4.30, both of them. And there will be, yes, there will be also later versions coming without date, with different colors of dyes, etc., etc. So it is not yet said that there won't be a version without it, there will be one, I can tell you. So let me now jump right into the military version. You can see that the military version features a enlarged 30 minute counter for better readability, has the running second at nine o'clock. And as I just said, yeah, the date at 4.30 is necessary. Okay, we already talked about it. So this is a chronograph and this applies to both versions with a diameter of 42 millimeters and the thickness is 14.1 millimeter and the lug to lug distance is 49 millimeters. In between the lugs you have 21 millimeters and the case as you see it, it's a stainless steel case is waterproof up to 100 meters. Both of them are powered by the new completely newly developed Breguet Calibre 7 two, eight, one. It's a five hertz movement, five hertz movement, 36,000 semi-oscillations of the balance wheel. And of course features flyback function as it has to be. I will later show in the video what the flyback function does. You do have a column wheel. We will also see this a little bit later and a vertical clutch. Power reserve, also interesting to know, is 60 hours. This is quite something if you consider the fact that this is a 5 hertz movement. So with a 5 hertz movement that is pretty power consuming, it is a sufficient and let's say good power reserve. The basal of the military version is ungraduated. You don't see anything on it, just a little luminescent triangle. The basal is a bidirectional rotating basal, so you can position the triangle wherever you want. And this also clearly distinguishes this version from the civilian version. And the civilian version, the type XX, features a basal with some more indications. And also clearly to see and nicely to see and well done here once again to Breguet that they also equipped the military version with that typical crown the version had in the 1950s. Why is there such a big crown on it? The reason it was easy to handle the crown with gloves. It would not slide and would be easy to handle. This is the reason why they had such a huge crown on it. Start stop, of course, at two o'clock. Reset of the chronograph at four o'clock. And if you want, and if it is necessary and for aviation purposes, it was essential to have a flyback function. Flyback function, what happens? You press whilst the chronograph is still running and you need to time another event. You just press on the reset button at four o'clock and you will see that the hands jump back to zero and without any delay, once you release the push piece at four o'clock, it will continue to time whatever you had to time. And this is, of course, very essential. Imagine if you would have to time an event that starts immediately after the other event stopped and you would have to press first the start, stop, push, piece at two o'clock. Then you reset the watch and then you restart the watch. You would have lost three, maybe four seconds. If you would be quick, maybe two seconds, but this was nothing they wanted. So the flyback function was an essential function. Also might be useful today if you are planning to do the timing of two events that start one after the other. You press at four o'clock once again, please look. 
you press pop and either 30 minute counter or 15 minute counter on the civilian version do both reset to zero. Of course, also on the civilian version, the 12 hour counter, they both reset to zero. So let us quickly also have a look at the more civilian version. I said it before, it differentiates itself. First of all, from the dial, you do have the enlarged 15 minute counter. You do have a 12 hour counter at six o'clock. Of course, the running second stays there where it has to be at nine o'clock. And there's a different basal. It has a graduated polished steel rotating basal bidirectional with a luminescent triangle. Both watches do feature a similar triangle. And if you have a look at our loom shot, it is amazing. Look at these watches. The military version, the Type 20, the Arabic version 2.0, the reference 2057. Incredibly beautiful. And look at the central second hand of the chronograph swiping over the dial. A super luminova being applied. How nicely this looks. And of course, if you look also on the Type XX, reference 2067 also looks gorgeous at night with that perfectly illuminated dial. The Superluminova in darkness is the same color, but of course, if you look at the watch, normally there is a vintage look given to the more civilian version and the more classical greeny green look on the military version. Both watches can be worn either with the leather or nubuk strap they come with but it can be easily exchanged easily exchanged by the quick release system Breguet has so you just press on the button and then you release look close it's easy i can do it with gloves you can do it it's no rocket science and you don't need any watchmaker for nothing so you can nicely exchange the leather strap and then you change to the NATO strap. Both watches look gorgeous with the NATO strap. And I personally would only wear it with the NATO because it's absolutely authentic and it is so cool to have it on a NATO. The exchange is really easily done. Also on the Type XX, you can see here, we take off a nice leather strap with its steel pin buckle and click. You see, I press slides out and you then you just slide through. It's a real knot to use slide through and then you wear it with an auto strap. So you can do this at home. And both watches come in that beautiful box. We have also been able to film. And in the beautiful box, there's also a little extra space where you can slide in the NATO. You don't have to pay extra, of course. It comes with the leather strap and the NATO strap. Nicely designed box, beautifully made. Everything is in detail, beautifully made. Just look. Let me show you something else. Look at the pin buckle. Look, can you see the engraving of Brugge on it? Ah, is this beautiful? And then please, look at the release button. Look on the release button of the quick exchange mechanism of the strap. Can you see? Ah, there's a propeller on it. So it's really so many beautifully done little details. You get thrilled, I have to say, you really get thrilled. The attention they took on every little detail. The pear-shaped winding crown of the Type 2.0. Oh, beautiful. And then the more civilian version has a more classic straight winding crown. Everything is just perfect. Of course, yeah, such a watch is not cheap, cannot be cheap. It's impossible. Still remember, they have produced from scratch the last four to five years a new movement. In design, very much refers to the style and to the quality of the Valjou calibers they used in the 1950s. Of course, you can't compare a movement today with what they were able to produce in the 1950s. The entire industry has moved forward, technology has improved, so these new movements are much better. Of course, you also see that the winding rotor has the shape of a cockpit instrument, nicely engraved with Brugge on it. You can nicely see the column wheel. The column wheel has been black coated so it optically stands out of the architecture of the movement. And when I play around with it, you can see how the column wheel, the little nose gets its information either on the column or in between the columns. And this information is transferred to the vertical clutch and the vertical clutch then activates the chronograph or deactivates the chronograph. Beautifully done. What does it cost? So the two watches don't have a different price. They both sell for 17,500 Swiss francs, including the Swiss VAT or 18,900 euro. 
including 19% VAT in Germany. So 18,900 or 17,500 Swiss francs. The watch is not limited, of course. And as I already said in the beginning, please, if you are now saying to yourself, oh, the day, that 430, why did they do it? Wait, wait. This is the first execution. This is the first watch they presented. The movement they conceived, the Calibre 728 was conceived with a date, so they show and have it. Some like to have a date and some wouldn't buy. The majority of people will not buy a watch without a date function. So it is an offer for broader, a broader audience. Later on, for the specialists, for us, I wouldn't buy the watch. Probably with the date, I will also wait for a version without date because I very much like that puristic style. Date is not necessary. You don't need a date function on such a watch, but a majority does. So we just have to accept the fact that Breguet will initially deliver a watch to its boutiques, to the retail network with a date because it's simply more popular. But for us, the specialists, more variations will come, different color dials will come, and a version without date will also follow. Do also note, the Type 20, as you see it, Type 20 and Type XX, this watch is the beginning of a new collection at Brugge. So for the next, I heard, 15 years, for the next 15 years, watches are planned to come to the market. So they have a huge collection coming in the future. So we will be surprised again and again, but they will stay loyal to the look of these chronographs dating back to the 1950s. Being a military order, the look, everything was clearly defined by the military. This is not a design Priggy invented. It was wanted by the military. And as I already said, not even the French invented this design. It was a design coming out of the 1940s already. The first manufacturer they referred on, or they very much referred on, was Hanhardt because they had this particular design already much earlier. So, I hope you were able to see all the details of the watches. For me, the watch fitted perfect on my wrist. Of course, I do like big watches. Some might say, oh, it's too big for a wrist. No, it's not. I like it. You have to try the watch. It's, as I said already, not a limited edition. So, go to a Breguet boutique, go to your retailer. You should be able to find one of these watches. And they are already in the market. So, Breguet has delivered them before the presentation in Paris. So they should be already available right now. When you watch the video, you should be able to find one. Go try it and then please use the comment section, share thoughts with us and tell us if you like it, if you think the size is too big or not. Yeah, share thoughts. I'm interested to read your comments. Don't be shy. Use the comment section and tell us your opinion. Share your passion with us and I'm very keen to read what you have to tell us and what you have to write us. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation of the new Breguet chronograph, the Type XX or Type 2.0. I think it's a cleaner, a very much more authentic version than the 3,800 references we saw before. My personal opinion is that this will be a huge success for the brand and it is also a very attractive alternative if you're looking for a very cool chronograph, understatement, excellent quality, absolutely excellent quality. There's nothing you can say about the quality or something. If you touch the case, it is perfectly done. There is no sharp edge, nothing. It's just the best of the best you can get. And the price is, let me still repeat that, attractive. It is a lot of money, of course, for a steel chronograph, but don't forget who Bregi is. It's one of the top luxury brands of the industry. If you wear such a chronograph, you can be sure you will not be among many others to wear one. There are brands where you see too many of those watches on the wrists of others. It's more an individual choice. It is understatement for sure. And it is a very, very cool watch. I'm keen to read your comments. Thanks for watching the video once again. One little um, <clears throat> um, remark on the end. Please don't forget our Instagram channel. We have just pushed the reset button on our Instagram channel. We have restarted. So subscribe also to our Instagram channel to enjoy what we do there. Bye-bye and see you soon back here on Watch Advisor on YouTube.